Hello, dear students in the third preparatory stage. Today, we will make an important revision on Unit 4. We will try to solve some questions on this unit and to help you to study them well. Let's start our revision today with give reason for. The first question, the sexual reproduction is a source of genetic variation. This is because the produced individual gains new genetic traits from both parents or from different sources. Another question, the asexual reproduction produce offspring identical to the parent cell. It means it keeps the genetic traits among the species. Another form of this question is the individual resulted from a sexual reproduction are similar to their parents. What's meant by similar to their parents? It means that there is no genetic variation. This is because the produced cell gains its genetic traits from one source only during the mitotic division of its nucleus. Another type of question, a sexual reproduction in plants doesn't need gametes. Why does the sexual reproduction in plants doesn't need gametes? This is because it occurs in the vegetative organs. The vegetative organs, they are the stem, the leaf, the root, and also the bud, without any need for the seeds. This is because it occurs in the vegetative organs of the plant, which divide mitotically to give new cells identical to the parent cell, which carry complete number of chromosomes, which is 2N. The number of chromosomes is constant in the same species, which reproduce sexual. This is because in fertilization, the combination occur between the male gamete and the female gamete to produce zygote, which contain complete number of chromosomes to N. Give reason. The starfish reproduce asexually by regeneration because each lost arm can be regenerated and give a complete starfish if it contain a part of the central disk. It means that if the lost arm of the starfish has the, a part of the central disk, it will continuous mitotically division to form a complete body cell of the starfish. Another question, cellular division begins with interphase, or what is the importance of interphase before the cell division? The cell prepares itself for division through many biological important processes, also it duplicates its genetic material. The individuals resulted from sexual reproduction are not similar to their parents. This is because the individual resulted from the sexual reproduction gained their genetic traits from both parents or different sources. So the sexual reproduction is the only source for the genetic variations between parents and their offsprings. Another question, shrinking of the spindle fibers during the anaphase of mitotic division. To split the chromosomes into two halves to form two identical groups of the chromosomes in each pool of the cell. Meiosis are called the reduction division. 
This is because the produced cells contain half the number of chromosomes in, in the original cell. Another type of question which is what happens when? Occurrence of crossing over phenomenon at the end of pro phase 1 or part of the inner chromatids are exchanged in the end of pro phase 1. What happens if the parts of the inner chromatids are exchanged in the end of the pro phase 1? It will cause the variation of genetic traits among individuals of the same species. What happens when the nucleus of the cell is removed? We know that the nucleus of the cell is the main role of the cell division, has the main role in cell division and also the very important role in this division. So if the cell nucleus is removed, so no cell division will occur. What happens when putting yeast fungus in a warm sugary solution? This will cause the bud emerges from the parental cell which form a new individual which is full copy of the original cell by mitotic division. What happens when starfish loses one of its arms? The animal will compensate the lost arm mitotically. Also, the lost arm will form a new individual if it contain a part of the central disc by mitotic division or regeneration as a, as a type of a sexual reproduction. What are the results of fusion between sperm and ovum? It will produce zygote which contain complete number of chromosome and contain the genetic traits from both parents and combine the genetic traits from different sources. What will happen if the meiosis division occur in human? It will produce gametes which contain half number of chromosome N, which help in transferring the genetic traits from parents to their offsprings. What will happen when the somatic cells divide mitotically in the human body? If the somatic cells divide mitotically, this is the result of their growth and also the compensation of the damaged cells in their body. And it is a very important process in the children than in the adults. What are the results of the crossing over phenomenon doesn't occur? It will cause no variation of genetic traits among individuals of the same species. What happens when spores of bread mold fungus fall on a moist piece of bread? Each spore will grow to form a new individual divides mitotically, which is identical to the original cell, contain complete number of chromosomes to N. Another type of question, which is write the scientific term of number one, a phase in which chromosomes are arranged along the cell equator. Yes, yes, it is metaphase. Number two, a lateral bulk in the cell 
when the cell nucleus is divided mitotically into two nuclei, one of them in migrate to this bulk. I hear you, it is the bud. A cell division occurs in the somatic cells of the body. It is the mitotic cell division or mitosis. A type of cell division produces sperm and ovum. Do you know this type of cell division? Yes, it is meiotic cell division or meiosis. A process that the parts of inner chromatids are exchanged in the end of prophase one. It is crossing over phenomena. The fibers extend between the two poles of the cell. What are their name? Yes, it is the spindle fibers. It contains the genetic material from each parent. When it grows, it gives a new offspring whose traits combine each parent's traits. Do you know this? You are clever. It is the zygote. The ability of animals to compensate their missing parts. This is the regeneration process. The process in which the living organisms produces new individuals carry genetic traits identical to their parents. This is the asexual reproduction. When we see in the question the word identical to the parent cell, we thought about the asexual reproduction. But when we see that the produced individual differ from the genetic traits from both parents, so we thought about the sexual reproduction. One of the phases of mitosis in which a series of changes adverse to the prophase occur. What is the name of the phases of the mitotic division where each step is adverse to the prophase. This is the telophase stage. What are the scientific term of the mass of the cells that occurs when the body cells divide continually without any control? This is the tumor. We will try to solve some problems together. Problem number one. Two cells, one of them is somatic cell and the other is reproductive cell. They will divide. Mention. The kind of division in each cell. What is the kind of division in the somatic cell and the reproductive cell. The somatic cell will divide by mitotic division, while the reproductive one will divide meiotically. What are the number of produced cells in each? The somatic cell will produce two identical cells, while the reproductive cell will produce four cells. Also, what are the number of chromosomes in each resulted cell? The produced cells of somatic cell division contain complete number of chromosomes, which is 2N, while the produced cells of the reproductive cell division contain half number of chromosomes in. Another problem, if the number of chromosomes 
in human pancreatic cell is 23 pairs. What is the number of chromosomes in? Number one, skin. Skin has complete number of chromosome, which is 23 pairs. The sperm have half number of chromosomes, which is 23 chromosomes, as it is a gamete. Number C, the fertilized ovum, contain 23 pairs of chromosomes, as it a somatic cell which contain complete number of chromosomes. In a phase of a cellular division, every two homologous chromosomes move away from each other as the spindle fibers shrink. One of the two chromosomes migrate to the cell pool and the other migrates to the other pool. What is the name of this phase? Do you know this phase? Yes, it is the anaphase one in first meiotic division. How many chromosomes in the produced cells according to the original cell on which this phase occurred? Given that the original cell contain 46 chromosomes. The produced cells are gametes, which contain half number of chromosomes in which equal 23 chromosomes. Correct. The crossing over phenomenon occurs at the end of Metaphase 2. Are this sentence correct? No. The crossing over phenomenon occurs at the end of prophase 1. Paramecium reproduces asexually by budding. It is right? No. Paramecium reproduces asexually by binary fission. In the plant cell, the spindle fiber are formed from the centromere. No, in the plant cell, the spindle fibers are formed from the cytoplasm intensification. Meiosis occurs in the flowering plants in the stem to produce pollen grains. If the stem is the source of the pollen grain, no, meiosis occurs in the flowering plants in the anther of the flower to produce the pollen grains. The anther of the flower is the reproductive cell which produces the pollen grains, which is the male gametes. Contain half number of chromosomes as in the mother cell. Some plants reproduce vegetatively by the seeds. No, the plants reproduce vegetatively by the roots, the stem, the leaves, or the vegetative organs. Gametes is the point of connection of the two chromatids of chromosomes. No, centromere is the point of connection of the two chromatids of chromat chromosomes. Euglena reproduces by budding. Is it true? No. The yeast fungus, which reproduces by budding. But the euglena reproduces by binary fission. The chromosomes chemically consist of DNA and fats. Is it true? No. The chromosomes chemically consist of DNA and protein. 
the yeast fungus reproduces by regeneration. No, the yeast fungus reproduces by budding. But the starfish who that reproduces by regeneration. The bread mold fungus reproduces asexually by binary fission. Compare between. Number one, the origin of spindle fibers in animal and plant cells. The spindle fibers in animal cells originated from the centrosomes from the two poles, while the spindle fibers in the plant cells originated from the intensification of the cytoplasm at both poles. We know that the difference between the animal cell and the plant cell is the presence of centrosome in the animal cells only, while the plant cell has no centrosome. So the origin of the spindle fibers from the plant cell is the intensification of the cytoplasm at the cell pool, while in the, in the animal cell, the centrosome is the origin of the spindle fibers in each pool. Compare between mitosis and meiosis. What are the difference between mitosis and meiosis? The location. Where does the mitosis occur? It occurs in the somatic cell. Where does the meiosis occur? It occurs in the reproductive cells. What is the aim of mitotic cell division? Number one, for the growth of the somatic cells. Number two, the compensation of the damaged cells. Why is the aim of the meiosis cell division? Is formation of gametes and transferring of the genetic traits from one generation to another. The resulted cells. The resulted cells in the mitosis, they are two cells identical to the parental cell contain complete number of chromosomes equal to N, while the meiosis produces four cells each contain half number of chromosomes in the parental cells N. The stages of mitosis, they are four stages only, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, while we know that the meiosis classified into first meiotic, which contain prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. And also the second meiotic contain prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2. Compare between the sexual and the asexual reproduction. The sexual reproduction depends on the presence of two individuals, male and female, while the asexual reproduction depends only on one individual. The sexual reproduction depends on meiotic cell division, while the asexual reproduction depends on mitotic cell division. The sexual reproduction, the new individual carry the genetic traits from both parents, while the asexual reproduction, the new individual is identical or full copy to the parental cell 2N. The sexual reproduction occurs in the higher living organisms while the asexual reproduction occurs in unicellular living organisms and some multicellular living organisms.
compared between somatic and reproductive cells. The somatic cells, they are all body cells except the reproductive ones. Example, the liver cell, the hair cell, pancreatic cells, also the skin cells in human and animals. But in the plants, they are the root, stem, leaves, cells in the plant. But the reproductive cells, they are the testes which produce sperm and the ovary which produce ovum in human and animals. While in the plant, it is the anther which produce pollen grains and the ovary which produce ovum in flowering plants. The purpose of the cell division for growth and the compensation of the damaged cells, while the purpose of the reproductive cell division is the formation of male and female gametes and transferring the genetic traits from parents to their offsprings. By the end of this unit, we have finished our syllabus this term. Try to work hard and see you later. Goodbye.